What's up guys, it's Bolo Gamer here and today we're back in another Tiny Sales World video. Today we're checking out the another ship from the United States line. This will be our third United States line ship. It is the SS America. Recently revamped by I forget the name that it was revamped. I'll put it on screen later on in post production. But yeah, we so this is the slower sister of the America. And I'll tell you now the reason why she was slow. The reason why she was built to be slower is that way they're not the sisters aren't going trying to compete against each other. <clears throat> but without any further ado, let's go ahead. We're in New York. We're gonna try to head to Halifax, maybe eventually get to Southampton, depending on how our time is good doing. So yeah, let's go ahead and put her full throttle. Sound her horn. And be on our way. For this, we're gonna need to turn. And head to Southampton or in that general area. But meanwhile, I, I'll zoom in and give you a little bit of a better look of the bow. Um, it's kind of made, you could kind of say it's similar to the, to the United States, especially with her brake water. You know, but much smaller and much slower. And for some reason, I don't know if it's the game or the ship, but the America looks a little bit more bulkier than the, I guess you could say, slimmer SS United States. So there's that. But other than that, she is a beautiful ship that sadly wasn't able to have the same fate as her sister, the America. And sadly, alas, she had alas. So the story behind the America is simple. She eventually she was she went owner to owner, never really had a permanent owner for a long period of time. She always was being sold. And eventually, I don't know the full story. I just know what happened to her in the end. What happened to her in the end was she beached either the owners beached herself, beached the, beached the ship in an effort to get rid of her, or she was. Um, stolen and was beached by the thieves or something I'll put it uh, I'll put it on the screen I sh it should pop up on screen now um, what truly happened with the ship um, but eventually later on due to the fact that she was beached her the her owners couldn't salvage her and they left her there to just sit there and rot, basically. So yeah. Yeah, let's check out her other skin. As this is the skin I believe she died in at the ship finally succumbed to the elements in.
Yep. Uh, so, for the sake of time, we're going to just sail to Halifax and, again, we'll see if we have enough time to make it to Southampton. Of course, all like always, you have to prowl the waters in search of a potentially a, sub, a sub or <clears throat> or something else. So, as we just sit there, sit here and watch the ship move through the waters, um, so yeah, so we're slowly but surely approaching Halifax. So yeah, we're slowly but surely approaching Halifax, um, and we hit, can, oh, this, it's going too slow, I can't reach it, and we're sinking. So, after striking a singular mine, the SS America is suffering a different fate, going to the bottom of the ocean. Already, the water is well to the nameplate, so with less than ninety, less than a thousand souls on board, the question becomes: Can they get off in time? With the water already overlapping the the um, bow, now getting up to the well deck. It is only a matter of time. Before this liner is at the bottom of the ocean. As less than 700, less than 800 people are still on board as the bridge goes under. You may, you begin to wonder, are we going to have, or is there enough time for these people to get off? As the first funnel falls, and she goes Titanic style, I could say, with her stern high in the air as the second funnel falls. Now she goes into her final plunge with 600 souls on board. As the America reaches another fate. She hits the bottom and now begins to go down. 600 people died on board in a truly tragic turn of events. Um, we were just in the middle of selling, you see. And it was middle of the day, and you see, we just people were well into, well deep into the ship. Some were those that were up on the ship were able to escape, while those deeper in the ship truly didn't have enough time. Thing is, the power never really went out. I don't think so. Um, I didn't see it that the power went out, but maybe it did. Um, but yeah, now a 
and I didn't really even have enough time to close the wide tent doors or hit the pumps. It was that quick. We lost that quick. And either, and also I didn't have enough time to sit out and distress single year. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next one.